I've been teaching art for 34 years. I've worked with MLK since 2005 when I initially started to send kids to work on the projects with Kyle. By 2011, I had a former student who worked for him call and ask me if I would do a mural with them. And then since uh, last year also, I just stuck it out, not just sending kids, but going myself, so which I enjoy. They'll stay after school where they might not have stayed after school for anybody else, but they'll stay after to work on a mural. Yeah, I think that uh, MLK definitely ha gives kids that, that. That's a gift to the child that's involved in that organization. That's their gift. A lot of the kids are uh, what would formerly be called high risk. Kids. And then sometimes it's just kids that are artistically talented and want to find an outlet or find a way that they can continue to do that on their own or see if they want to pursue that as a career. And they tend to be a better student, a better person at the end of it, and it's really a big growing process. It's very important when you have ownership of something, you're less likely to vandalize, you're less likely to allow other people to make negative comments or vandalized and they really take ownership of what they're doing and it's their way to make a mark in the world. It's a, it's a permanent way to say, hey, I was here for a young person. It's really important because in their lives they don't have a lot of places they can say that. No one listens. And even the nicest kids, because we all I really think we all have the same desires, a lot of times you think no one's listening. But when you're doing something as magnificent as this and as magnificent as some of these murals at least throughout Pittsburgh are, you really are saying, look what I did, you take ownership, you leave a legacy, and people are listening.